At Home and Design, we revel in all things made, and that includes the real products and appliances of the industrial design world. And uh, it, additionally, it includes the fantasy uh, products and appliances from any number of worlds in the realm of production design. Now, production design is an ancient craft and trade that goes back to theater, uh, was certainly revolutionized during uh, the age of motion pictures, and now has taken new form in video game environments. Uh, what you're looking at here in front of me are portions of one of the flight suits from the Titanfall franchise, which was debuted in 2013. It was by Respawn Entertainment. And these components have been built by our summer intern, Kyle, who's agreed to come in and tell us a little bit about how he researched design and built this suit. We got the rest of these parts here. Got a couple helmets here. Cool. Awesome. So in order to get to this point, you, you had to do a lot of research, I imagine, definitely, just definitely. To, to figure this thing out. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, so usually initially would go online after playing the game for a while and trying to find as many different screenshots or gameplay from other people have made to get those interesting angles to figure out different layers or depths of the suit. But this was a really awesome opportunity. I was able to get in contact with the artist of this specific character uh, Rob show and he gave me a lot of individual and personalized renders of the full breakdown of the character. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I'm looking at this and I also have to imagine that um, your interest in design and the way things look has got to precede Titanfall and, and uh, mm -hmm. tell oh, me a definitely. little bit about your life history that leads you to this place where you want to make props and uh, for as long as I can remember, I've always been interested in armor. So I was off with medieval knights and castles, and then it was you know construction vehicles and trucks. And then I got into Legos, which gave me my fundamentals of building and making things work. And then it was Star Wars, Halo, and then ultimately it was Titanfall. Titanfall had this mesh of military and a sci-fi aesthetic that just was combined in a very attractive way. And I always reflect, despite studying engineering for a bit, there's this root of loving the way things look. There's an emotion and a fascination behind that that keeps me really attracted to this kind of field. And being able to take that and bring it that emotion to life through a means of fabrication, you know, numbers and science and whatnot, is the really healthy way of me doing what I love. So in one sense, you, you might say that your transition from engineering, which I guess you were studying at Penn State, yep. and uh, then when you transitioned to the ID program at Jefferson, Jefferson. University, mm -hmm. um, that's uh, partly to get back in touch with the emotional side of Definitely. design that Definitely. may not just have been there in engineering. There, there's this sort of understanding that you know, anytime I would watch a Star Wars movie or play a video game, there's always time I just sit there and I'm just looking at it. I'm just like, I just love the way that it looks. And there's always like, but why do I like that? And studying industrial design has given me that opportunity to understand why I like the, these things and why they work the way that they do or why some things don't. And it's always interesting to finally have a way to explain that now. I was reading a little bit about um the lead artist, mm -hmm. Joel Emsley, That's and his influences for the game, yeah, yeah. He, he said a couple of things. He talked about um, uh, how he wanted it to look like a used future, yeah. which I found interesting because that's what George Lucas said mm -hmm. about the Star Wars franchise mm -hmm. back in, in the 70s. Yes. I kind of wonder if that was an, an, an homage or almost a requote. Right, right. Um, but nevertheless, we've got that kind of post-apocalyptic uh, or used uh, future look here. He said that... Um, uh, Masamune Shiro's Appleseed franchise mm -hmm. was a big influence on him. Oh, I think yeah. some of the other flight suits uh, from that manga and anime, uh, those manga and anime products are definitely reflected in the right. flight suits and in the Titans. Um, and then he also suggested that uh, Blade Runner was a big influence. I've got my little spinner here. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. This is, uh, of course, the spinner was uh, visual futurist Sid Mead's right. uh, concept, as were a lot of things in the movie. It was production designed by Lawrence Paul. Um, so, yeah, I think that's that. That's great that you're able to reach him directly. Oh, in yeah. addition, like you said, screen grabs, and uh, it looks like you're able to f find some print materials as Art well. Of Titanfall, absolutely. Um, 
you've got a page bookmarked here that shows what I think you were telling me was your first helmet. Um, yes, first before suit, we, first helmet, yeah. Before we built the tan full Absolutely, suit you've yes. got here now. Okay, awesome. That's, that's right here. Yep, that's this guy. Made this one a year ago. Um, that suit and that character when this game came out was the one that pushed me over to start getting this kind of fabrication. And when I went around to making this helmet, I spent as much time as I could to make it as detailed and almost as aggressive as possible to really capture a more realistic sense of what these pilots go through than what you kind of get in the game. Oh, you've got some battle damage here. Oh, it's some, you know, like laser bolt scar, an exploded exterior. I mean, those are also features I've always wanted to put in on a prop and a creation. This helmet's uh, roto-molded. It is, yes. Um, and in addition, it looks like it may have some accessories. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to ask you, what did you know about roto-molding or 3D printing, I think, and PVA foam uh, before you started? Well, how did you get into this? What did you learn along the way? So I built two suits before this. Like I said, there was the suit for this guy, and there was another suit from a different franchise I made where I learned a lot of the handcrafting with the foam. Um, and through my uh, tech classes through high school, I was introduced to CAD and I've been doing it since and I've been doing hand drafting since early high school. So a lot of that's how I created a lot of the parts, um, but this suit's always been more challenging in a lot of its form. So really being able to push those things already new into a different area was awesome. And so since this summit was technically before the suit, I already had an introduction to molding and casting, but with some of these uh, other tricky elements, a lot of more curved pieces, it was definitely challenging to figure out the right way to mold it. Um, but everything, the biggest thing was really actually learning to sew for this guy, like the vest and a lot of these different leg pieces. That was the big thing uh, to learn for this guy. That's one I never really put, an arrow I never put in my quiver yeah, in all my years in film. I thought I would actually get to it, but when the second game came out and I saw this guy, I'm like, I have to make this, but like, and I just saw it and like, there's this, you know, a vest like that doesn't exist in the real world. And you know, this lot of stuff does this, so I'm, I'm gonna have to make it and sit down and learn how to sew and do it properly. So that was a fun challenge. Now, you've also got, is that called the jump pack? Yeah, What's that called? The, in the game, it's actually referred to as the jump kit, but oh, it jump functions kit. like a jump pack. It's what keeps the pilot sort of afloat in air so they can run on walls and they can sort of gain momentum with gravity to propel themselves across uh, buildings and you know run on walls for extended periods of time. It's what makes them more agile. And it's kind of what gives Titanfall a part of its name uh, other than the Titans. This is, a, I think, a great visual display of what industrial design is. It's taking engineering and design and meshing the two together. There's a lot of internal construction that had to be done to keep its form stable, as well as maintaining that rigorous design that's so attractive about it. I love these uh, little armor plates. Kyle, thanks for bringing this in yeah, and showing us your suit, explaining some of these techniques. I feel like we could go on for hours getting oh, into easily. the detail of every one of these pieces. And I wish we could. I know you've been able to share some things with me over the summer that was oh, yeah. much appreciated. And we had a lot of fun filming oh, you in it. That oh, was a good time. Thanks for being with us Thank this you. summer Appreciate too. Appreciate it. That was and awesome. uh, best of luck. We'll yeah. look forward to seeing what you're doing once you're out of school and you yeah. get out there. Awesome.